Hello, welcome. This is Roger West, and come on in, grab a seat, grab a cup of coffee. Hey, I thought I'd show you another book haul from the used bookstores. As you may know by now, I um, have uh, made a habit of going to bookstores and cutting back on it, but go to these used bookstores, I get all kinds of books. But I thought I'd show you guys uh, a few that I got recently. Uh, <clears throat> Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky, depending on how you how you pronounce it. Um, Notes of the Underground. Now, this is a good book. It's about basically a uh, uh, it's about a uh, uh, intellectual who's like a really depraved, uh, pathetic human being. Uh, just it's just a, it's it's very entertaining though because the guy is so pathetic that it's it's quite entertaining. Um, anyway, typical intellectual. So, uh, Jack London uh, short stories. Now, these are absolute winners. You can't go wrong, in my opinion, with a Jack London uh, short stories. He's one of my favorite authors. So, I've got I've got a few collections of Jack Jack London stories. And uh, anyway, these are terrific. Especially, my favorites are mainly the ones up in Alaska up in the north and Canada, the Yukon. Picked up a while back this book by William Casey. No, it's on William Casey. Uh, the Lives and Secrets of William J. Casey from the OSS to the CIA. So this guy was, uh, during the Reagan times, was the uh, uh, CIA director. And fascinating book. I read. I, I grabbed it because... You know, I write in the espionage fiction genre, and this guy was actually, I've used him as a sort of like a um, a model for a CIA director in one of my stories, which uh, recently, uh, one episode I think came out, and then, and then I've got several more on the shelf that are involved that character, a couple more anyway. The Innovators was a, Excellent book, <laughs> The Innovators. So it's about basically the history of technology, mainly in America, and the, you know the tech industry, uh, computers, and uh, very fascinating. Uh, just to just to uh, see how how the computer industry, uh, microchips and uh, computer personal computers how they've developed over time, all the different people, all the different creators involved, and how they um, came about their innovations in the, uh, over the decades. <clears throat> so pretty entertaining, pretty, pretty fascinating. Padre Pio, <clears throat> biography of Padre Pio. Padre Pio is a really fascinating character. He is a, a saint well known for like spending entire days doing confessions and also well known for miracles this guy is well known for incredible miracles of uh, in his life he was persecuted by his own superiors in the uh, monastery where he lived and the reason he was persecuted is because of course because of the miracles and I, I guess uh, you get you know in any in any uh, large organization you have uh, conflict and so that's what we had that's what Padre Pio ran into a lot of saints a number of other saints have also been persecuted for probably for similar reasons Je I don't know if it's jealousy or disbelief maybe some people are just there for you know uh, security and maybe not don't really have a faith. I'm not sure. I picked up this book. Anyway, Padre Pio is a, a great one. Uh, Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. I couldn't resist grabbing this one. I read I read a large portion of this, um, the, the, the financial section, uh, the wealth, the section on wealth. And I figured it was going to be, it's called the toolbox, is it not? Tools of Titans, Tools of Titans. So I thought, well, this is going to be loaded with tools. But what I actually found was it's a lot of pop psychology stuff I had heard and 
I was maybe it, it was, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying uh, it wasn't um, as good as I expected. Maybe it was kind of light. Uh, oh, this one looks good. <clears throat> I haven't read this one uh, really, but I got it, you know, for my literature classes. I uh, literary England. Now this is this looks like a great book. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it's got poems here. Like here's one for John Keats, and then it's got it, it features a it features a a picture alongside of the poem. So, so I like this because you know sometimes these these poems. You know they're from history, and if you're not, if you're, not, if your mind isn't like set in that um, historical period, you know some of the stuff may not make as much sense. But when you've got like here, it says under this photo, it says this Hampstead house sheltered the sorrow laden Keats. So it, and and you know it's got this po poem right next to it by Keats, and it ta it starts off with when when I have fears that I may cease to be. So he's talking about dying. And uh, which is, you know, was what he was doing. He was dying young, and it says this. Ha this was sh this household, this Hampstead house sheltered the sorrow laden Keats. So apparently he was dying in this very house, is what it looks like. So anyway, it brings a little bit of context to each of these, uh, these poems. So anyway, I, I teach some literature in my classes. So I thought this is going to be great because I like to bring in some poetry. <laughs> Not that I'm a poet or anything, but I kind of like poetry. I kind of like some classic uh, romantic English poetry. Um, you might wonder why a why would a thriller writer of action adventure thrillers be talking about literary English poetry? Well, actually, uh, it's not as far out as you might think. Um, at least one CIA director was was uh, also a big, very interested in poetry, and he looked at the uh, interpret the uh, de let's say the uh, uh, interpretation of poems is very similar to what what is done in in uh, in his line of work, which was let's say um, de deconstructing. Uh, he lives in a world of shadows and codes and deception, and that whole world is like that, and and like nothing can be taken at face value. Everything's a fraud. And so, so for for someone in that world, poem for him, you know, poetry was like, okay, this is my world, right? Because it's all about every, nothing is clear. It's all vague and and, sh and shadowed and open to interpretation. And so that's why, at least one CIA director um, had a love for poetry because he saw it, the interpretation of poetry as uh, is so similar to what he did in his world. Now, one cl great book I got recently is called The Best of Italy. This is a fantastic book. It's it's a, a, a large book. You can see it's a big book. And so I'm pretty pretty excited about this one. It's got obviously it's got big photos of all over Italy. It's it's great covers the whole country and it's got photos and this is great because I'm writing a number of books on uh, I'm editing actually a number of books on that take place in Italy so this is kind of a resource uh, anyway there you go there's just some books I got uh, um, there's the recent book haul from used bookstores anyway um, great stuff great stuff I've got I can hardly wait to uh, get into this uh, a couple of these right here ASAP probably this best of Italy I'll probably want to page through this I'm gonna start editing those books right away I've got a stack of them like um, a bunch of them so I want to get those done as soon as I have time so all right well thanks for watching thanks for watching God bless fight on happy reading <laughs>